after carefully placing my pawns onto the chessboard. Oh my god. And suffering severe cardiac trauma, I'm eager to continue my adventure through Dragon's Dogma. However, I've learned something. The tooltips and tutorials for this game are sometimes, um, uh, less than helpful. Uh, be wary of any nearby body- well, okay, I I've learned not to go into the water already, I'm not sure why that tooltip keeps coming. I- I- the game has an auto- mm, this- come to an impasse at one quest, why not try another? Yep, yeah, I've seen that tooltip like five times already. I am so thankful that Dragon's Dogma taught me that I can left click to attack the goblins 45 minutes into the game. While I was running around the fishing village, I discovered the game has a unique tongue-in-cheek approach to its diegetics. Nasty things too. The brine, they call them. Oh, guess I'm gonna have to clear out the uh, shoreline of these brines. Brine can be bested once more. Not to do and avoid the water's edge. But oh, the they didn't program swimming. Well, now I just I have to because I want to see this. So we'll save the game. Oh. It's like some kind of eel thing? Uh, oh. Oh god, that's a lot of blood. Holy shit. That kind of looks like the, uh, the rift portal. Yeah. Yeah, that's the... That's the same portal the pawns came from earlier, but it's also the same portal that the, uh, the dragon appeared through. Like, they're coming from the same place. I... They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. So they... they are the most literal of NPCs. Uh, be wary of any nearby body... Well, Okay, I, I've learned not to go into the water already. I'm not sure why that tooltip keeps coming. I, I, okay, thank you. We got it. To the encampment. This path should see us there. Finally, you set out from the village. I, the game has an auto. Mm, this, this is a lot of tooltips. Press, like, okay. I'm getting the sneaky suspicion that the intro of the game, where it's like this cold open uh, late game area, I get the feeling that that was, that happened much later in development and that the actual tutorial of the game was originally supposed to be here. But they didn't bother to like get rid of it. Goblin. After figuring out which attack was the best one to spam over and over, and discovering that my pawn would learn from all of my actions. But it was time to meet the pawn legion, but first they had a task for me. If you would claim to be among the arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Mmm. What if I say no? As you wish. Ah, well, okay. The, the town is under attack! Do something! I, yes, sir. I let me do something. I'm trying to please let me through the <laughs> uh, wrong gate. OK, while fighting the Cyclops, I got the idea that the glowing symbol on his head might have been a weak spot. So I tried to climb up there. <laughs> of course, it took his entire health bar before I managed to get anywhere near. And what's more unfortunate, Emperor Palpatine managed to sneak away. Come to an impasse at one quest. Why not try another? Yep, yeah, uh, I've seen that tooltip like five times already. Uh, you can speak with this NPC for the end. Yep, I've already spoken with him. Thank you for the late tooltip. After defeating the Cyclops, I return to the Pawn Legion and discover, oh my god, I can build my own waifu. Uh, sure, we'll go with Kate. Half of me wants to hug you. The other half of me wants to rip out your throat. 
Our fealty is sworn to you. All right, whoa, that's not your voice actor. I've ordered pawns to take up swords and fight myself. But they are a clumsy lot. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though, nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. You just gotta be a heartless bastard. <laughs> Oh! Oh, now I gotta climb up. This, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was a fucking bad idea. <laughs> climb up here. There we go. There we go. That thing had a shit ton of health, I'm guessing. Yeah, you sit. Oh, yeah. Did you know that, uh... Oh, hey. That symbol again. This your handiwork? For truth? I was about to say, did you know that, uh, rattlesnakes, if you decapitate their head, or if, if they die, they can still bite you, because there's a part of their brain that's still reading the, um, their, uh, their heat sensory organ, and it'll just automatically react to that. So if you put your hand near a dead rattlesnake, uh, it will still try to lunge out and bite you. So, it's fucking scary shit. But the Hydra's head and the Orison who claims it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your strength. Well, maybe I can borrow a cart to haul this damn thing. Slow going with a cart. I dare say you oh. have no trouble catching up. <laughs> okay. Um. That being said, I uh. I feel like this uh this might be an escort quest, and I'm a little trepid to find out what an escort quest in this game is going to mean. Before tackling any potential escort quest, I decide to head back to the fishing village and try out some of the side quests there. You'd be wise to keep your distance from that pit. What? You mean to go down there? I decide to go down into the town's well to fix some sort of problem. I don't know. It's probably just some giant rats. It's a giant lizard. We're to proceed with no choice but to jump. <laughs> After Kate bravely charged headlong into battle with the lizard men, I followed after her and immediately fucking died. Oh shit. It was around this point I started to realize I'm, uh, I, I'm not wearing any armor. Should probably fix that. Oh, I know you. You took up steel and drove the dragon from Cassidus, yes? I heard about that, and of course you know me. I come here now and again to restock my wares. Uh, you do recall me, yes? Madeline? No. The finest peddler in all Grancis? Can I buy stuff? Ravishing beauty of legend and song? Uh. Madeline. No. No matter. I've bigger problems. Y can I buy shit or no? I trust you know of the encampment outside the village. I must travel there with all speed, but the wilds are perilous of late. Would you see me there safe? Oh, God, it's another fucking escort quest. Untoward, but have you aught in the way of coin? Please, I must make for the capital, but times are dark and my purse light. Mm. It's a terrible curse being poor. Times are it takes all I have mm. just to keep the tears back. Will you spare some gold? I would repay you, of course. At mm. some point. Most no. Donkey bastard! Oh, good God. The rat slipped away again. Donkey bastard! Unhand me! There we go. All I had to do was stab him. So now that I've got some actual armor on, I get a little bit braver and I decide to try the well again. Which way should we go? Leftward Park bears the stick of death. Uh, 
as I ready to face off against the Lizardmen again, I brace myself for the first real challenge I've had so far in this game. I die again. And again. Ah, jeez. I have two options right now. One, I could take a page from Dark Souls and just try, try, try again until I learn how to actually play this game. Or two, I could take a page from Dark Souls and just fuck off somewhere else and then just come back when I'm overleveled. All in all, I'm having a great time with this game. There's a lot of redundancy in the tooltips that keep popping up. It's a little bit annoying. I'm probably going to go through the menus one more time and just see if there's any way I can like try to calm that down a little bit without eliminating necessary information that I might miss. But aside from that, I absolutely love the mechanics that you can engage with in this game, and I cannot wait to play some more. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you. What was your first death in this game? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you next time in part three.